Hey, welcome to today, everybody. This is Sportsman News. I'm DeBorg, and this is going to be the next Sportsman News Hockey Show. We're talking about Michael McNevin getting freed from the um, Laval Rocket and the Montreal Canadiens organization, where it seemed like those two guys did not get along too well, McNevin and the Canadiens organization. He thought he was being blackballed by them in the ECHL. There was a great article about that on a Canadiens blog I read uh, earlier in this season, and now he gets to move on and go to a good Stockton Heat team. That also is really good in net and has, similar to the Laval Rocket, they don't have any issue in their goaltending room. Kevin Poulin is a very good uh, veteran in the AHL, and then they had Caden Primo down there. So, I mean, they, they didn't have any issues, it's just he didn't jive with the team, and that happens sometimes. So now he gets a new opportunity uh, with the Stockton Heat uh, on a team that has Dustin Wolf, one of the most impressive uh, young goaltenders in the league from California, with Wolf on the season. Um, himself is absolutely ballistic. He has a 9-2-4-2-3-2 and is 24-4-3 and and is one of the best goaltenders in the entire AHL. And now they bring in a former Canadiens prospect, Michael McNevin, who was signed as a free agent back in 2015 by the Canadiens to add to also having Adam Warner, uh, who's another good, uh, fairly young AHL goaltender as well that the Stockton Heat have, who hasn't been as sharp this year but has had a good career uh, for the Colorado Eagles prior to coming into playing for the Stockton Heat That in the last two years prior, that this has just been a kind of bugaboo year for Adam Warner. But he's an overall good goaltender. They now have three really sharp goaltenders in there in McNevin, who's going to continue to develop and probably do well in a change of scenery. And then they also have... Um, who I forgot to mention as well. They also have, but he struggled this year in short term and has played some at the ECHL level, if I'm not mistaken, Andrew Shortridge. But in terms of their top three goaltenders, obviously Dustin Worf's the top. I would say a McNevin and Warner are kind of even because I think they brought in Michael McNevin to try to get him going in a new change of scenery. He didn't jive with the Laval Rocket or the Montreal Canadiens organization or the trois Rivière Lions. That it seems like he's... Uh, somebody that they can bring in and kind of have go going in their system where he seems to be a talented goaltender. It's just he, he just didn't get along with the Montreal Canadiens. And when you're not doing well off the ice, sometimes that translates to on the ice. And it seemed to do so for Michael McNiven, uh, where now that he's away from the Canadiens organization, maybe he'll be able to do really well because he also did really solid uh, prior to this year, was sound and net, was good. Uh, rotationally, was good uh, positionally, uh, was pretty good at picking up the puck. He needed to sharpen maybe like some five-hole stuff and some glove side stuff, but I mean, even the numbers back up how he was a sound goaltender in net prior to this season, when then you started hearing about him really not feeling comfortable with the Canadians organization and thinking they were kind of just pushing him as the odd man out, well, be it they did bring in Montable, they do have Caden Primo, and of course they had Carey Price at the top, but even when you have a guy that performed since coming into the organization, you shouldn't really be pushing him out. Not sure if that was the case. That was some report. So it's nice for him, though, um, from his perspective, to get to go to a new team in Laval. And now he gets to be with the Laval Rocket. And also gets to maybe work his way uh, or, or to a new team from Laval. I mean, he gets to move on from Laval and go to the Stockton Heat. And now he gets to be with the Stockton Heat. And maybe eventually work his way up to being a backup to Jacob Markstrom. Uh, for the Calgary Flames, this is a great move for Michael McNevin, and I think it could be a sleeper move for especially the Stockton Heat, but maybe even in the future, uh, the Calgary Flames, because they have Jacob Markstrom, they're going to have Dustin Wolf come up and obviously eventually be the backup for Markstrom, but McNevin just gives you that even more depth, where I just did a video on Alex Stalock and how he's always been a great third string goaltender, stepped up in the players for the Sharks uh, way back and then stepped up for the uh, Wild two years ago. Um, if he's a guy that can just become that great, solid, sexy third string goaltender that's not the sexiest name, but just gets it done when you need him, well, that's perfect as well, where he's definitely going to have an opportunity at least to do that with the Stockton Heat, where with the Laval Rocket and with Montreal's organization, it didn't really seem like there was anywhere to put him to even have an opportunity to do that because they have Kevin Poulin, who's been absolutely ridiculous this year. They also have uh, Luis Philippe Guidon, uh, who they played more than, uh, well, lately played more than him. And then Tristan Barube, who's played in the ECHL and also um, has not played yet for them, but has, has 
dressed, I believe, uh, for the Laval Rocket. But this has been a quick video on Michael McNevin getting moved for future considerations of the Stockton Heat. Great for him and potentially very good for the Stockton Heat. It's just a very nice small move that could turn into a great move to be able to have a great goaltender tandem. As Warner's a very good goalie in my mind, especially AHL level, just struggling this year. McNevin's been very good in past years as well. Get one of those guys going along with Dustin Wolf, and you're really in business because they're already are in business as one of the better teams in the league with Dustin Wolf at the helm, the stock and heater. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Stay safe with everybody. Enjoy your day and enjoy the rest of the hockey season.